Welcome to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, Reynard Wilson, attempt to explain everything that can be explained and so much more about the brain of one individual, one single person. His name is Mark Steele, and he's often referred to as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist, and for very good reason, because he says the craziest things. If you want to find out a bit about Mark Steele, you could watch all the old episodes of this show. You could uh, tune into Mohammed Shafiq. What about MC Toon? They, they've all covered Mark Steele in excruciating detail. But it turns out we're not the only people covering Mark Steele. I found this really fascinating video from a woman called Sabrina Wallace, and she's a former network engineer, so she comes with a great deal of technical knowledge. And I was very surprised that she's reviewed the claims from the same video that I reviewed a few weeks ago, the banned video that they don't want you to see. While I was critical of Mark Steele's claims, she has come to an astonishingly different conclusion. This guy, this alleged conspiracy theorist, Ministry of Defense weapons person, I don't know who Mark Steele is, but I went and did a just basic looking. And when I went and looked at his just basic Wikipedia, he does seem to have the history he would know. And to me, he's completely mathematically accurate because the 6, 7, and 8G is um, essentially augmenting the local topology with those metamaterials and then broadcasting at higher wavelength, higher up. Well, that is a very strange claim because I was one of the people who wrote that Wikipedia page and I don't recall anything on it suggesting that Mark Steele would be a credible source of information about 5G, 6G or, or how the, it might affect the local topology of metamaterials. Whatever that means, I, I really don't understand. But Sabrina is a former network engineer, so maybe she's got some wisdom that I just don't have access to. So what we're going to do for this episode is have a look at some of the claims that Mark Steele made in the banned video that they don't want you to see. And let's have a listen to what Sabrina says in reaction. Never ever. Never ever. Would there ever be such a thing as 6G, Mark? No. No more Gs. After 5, no more Gs. And why would that be? You're going to be dead. The reason that you would say there's no G after the 5G, this is my theory, people like me that understand the wireless. The two, the this is what I mean. The LoRa, the low power, the terahertz has been available to them on the radio networks the entire time. The terahertz has been available for the entire time, apparently, whatever that means. Um, well, I, I suspect that she's referring to light because light is radio frequency in the terahertz band, but uh, what's that got to do with 5G? Maybe. Maybe Sabrina will explain if we just listen a little bit more carefully. I've seen some of the 6G stuff and I've read some of the documents and all they're really referring to is 5G. 5G, not some industry crafted deflection. The rest is just theater. All of the 6G protocols ha have already part of the 5G protocol. Terahertz bullets, that 2.4 LoRa low power, that's the one on the medical implant communication system from the 60s. It's really helpful to have someone like Sabrina she provides a, a clarifying level of insight that I don't think anyone else could. She's explaining that LoRa, a technology patented in approximately 2014, was actually invented in the 1960s, which also happens to be the same thing as 5G, which also may be the same thing as 6G. It's all the same thing. It, it's all the wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing that, that comes together and, and doesn't make any difference at all because nothing is different to anything else, uh, apparently. That's how it all works, but let's keep on listening because Sabrina has more clarifying insights to help us through the, the vast and cornucopious world of the mind of steel. 6G is all about uh, the energy that the body's going to create to create its own communications mm. network. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. Um, that's radio frequency through the body. You've heard of it before. They called it a VRIL, V R I L maiden. I'm not kidding. Radio frequency through the body. That's it. And it's been here the whole time. And the 6G is exactly that. Radio cognitive networks are C bands. That's why. Using the little EEG headset to watch everything going on while it's happening. Vril appears to be a reference 
to a science fiction novel written by Edward Butler Lytton. It's a novel about uh, scientists digging a chasm down into the earth and encountering a race of psychic angels who call themselves the Vrilya. So um, maybe, just maybe, that's what Mark Steele is talking about in his, his interview in the band video that they don't want you to see. It's possible. It makes just as much sense as any theory about Mark Steele, doesn't it? In 1877, that big wireless article thing I did, we already had radio through the muscle. We were watching it, and in the new Synergy PDF, I'm like, hey, sixth generation cognitive radio networks. Mark Steele is theoretically, theoretically correct, because the 2.4 LoRa has been in use the entire time. So if I'm understanding what Sabrina is saying, the subterranean angels used LoRa as a way of communicating their psychic energies to Mark Steele, and that happened in the 1800s, approximately 200 years ago. It all makes so much sense. It, it brings so many of these strands of disparate information together in a way that, that only a great communicator like Sabrina could possibly do. I, I feel humbled. I, I feel that with her on our side, the, the mystical becomes knowable. All things become clarified, and it's like seeing for the first time. And the pentagram is 5G, penna G, 5 gram. Okay, so the mm. pentagram is no 6G. 6G will spoil the black magic. The cult are not going to spoil their black magic, and the World Economic Forum have said so. The outputs from 5G will burn cities to the ground. Now, I have law enforcement people who said that too, and not just, my, not just one, like a couple. Um, well, there you have it. That is all the confirmatory evidence that you need that Mark Steele was telling the truth. Two anonymous law enforcement officers confirmed to Sabrina that Mark Steele's theories were correct. I, I honestly, I'm starting to feel like a bit of a fool because there was me only a few weeks ago criticizing Mark Steele, saying that he had no evidence and, and that he was talking a, a load of crackpot baloney, uh, the, the sort of drivel that, that would make even the most ignorant child guffaw with, with glee at, at his stupidity. And, and, and now look at me. Look at how wrong I've been proven because Sabrina has confirmed this story by talking to not one, but two unnamed law enforcement officers. Well, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't know if there's enough humble pie in the world for me to eat, but uh, mm, I'm hankering for some right now. There is a protocol for 6G. The exact same, it's just an add-on to the 5G, the 5G. But as far as his assertion, it's the same 5G, just with more access. And his point is technically accurate. He, again, the terahertz was already there. They just broke it out by databases and made it more accessible by fixing some of their channel aggregation problems with Nano and CubeSat. Which I hope that Sabrina and Mark get together someday and they pull their giant intellects. With Sabrina's knowledge of network topology and CubeSats, uh, Mark Steele's background with 30 years of research in the energy sector uh, and his expertise as a weapons expert, I'm sure that the two of them could perhaps right every wrong. They could solve every scientific problem. Maybe it would usher in a new universe of, of free energy. It would look like one of those magazines that Jehovah's Witnesses hand out. You know, the ones where children hug pandas. That's the kind of future I want. And if Sabrina and Mark would only get together and allow their brains to fuse, but without the benefit of the 5G, 6G, body-to-body -body network, which sounds tremendously frightening to me even. Um, well, yes, that, it could be possible, couldn't it? Let's all send out the vibes and hope that, that those two lost souls somehow attract each other. See, you've got to remember, these Satanists, 
these cult members have got nothing to lose. Apparently, this guy believes in the cult. I'm assuming, he, is he talking about the 13 families and all that kind of stuff? Because if he is, well, yeah, this is, they're going to, that's, that's what I said. It's a controlled downturn. And I... Sabrina Wallace has confirmed it yet again. The 13 families, the cult, all those people who are criticizing Mark Steele and sometimes installing 5G networks in cities and homes so that we can make phone calls and download YouTube videos. Well, it's all the work of the cult. Mark and Sabrina have confirmed it, therefore it must be true. Extinguish that flame of doubt from your mind, for it is the thought of a fool, a poltroon, a loser, and a person of extreme wrongness. Well, so you kill, incinerate, decimate, take out the buildings. You'll have bombed New York, Manhattan, have got enough energy in that city now to blow the city into smithereens. But by the tech, he's correct. 5G is full spectrum dominance, except for one thing. Again, they handed it out to more people, thus creating more nano and CubeSat. And that's your uh, advanced high frequency satellite. That's your neutrino arrays everywhere in the world, like Antarctica, etc. And that's photons. It's neutrino arrays in the Arctic. It's photons. It's everything. It's the omni conspiracy. It's absolutely all that we have dreamed of and nothing like anything we could have possibly imagined. It's so much bigger and yet also so much smaller than anything the human mind can cognize. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Sabrina. You've clarified so much. You've helped me understand that which I thought I could never comprehend. You are the gurus, my shining stars, my lights on the horizon, and the light at the end of the tunnel. You're everything, and I am nothing. I am your humble supplicant, here to learn at the altar of knowledge that is Sabrina and Mark. So I hope that helps, lady. Oh, my word. I hope that helps. Mark 536, amen. And what better way to end a technical discussion than with a Bible quote, in this case, Mark 536, in which Jesus says, don't be afraid, just believe. And, you know, I'm a believer now in Mark Steele and Sabrina. Well, what have we learnt? Huh. It's been a day of revelation for me. I, I've learnt that everything I've previously said about Mark Steele on this foolishly contrived Mind of Steel show has been wrong. I've learned that I was wrong to doubt him uh, and that I am a, a mere wretch for ever having claimed that Mark Steele was out of his depth, a fool, somebody who wasn't really a weapons expert because Sabrina's confirmed it all. Do you know what? Uh, I'm feeling a little bit of shame now. I, I, I think I just need to, to get out of here and maybe I'll, I'll go for a run and think about the ways I've, I've lived my life recently, and, and perhaps I'll come back to you reborn in the splendor that is Mark and Sabrina, and I shall come to you as a changed man, a man reborn. And if you want to see how that looks, please subscribe to this channel, and you'll be ready to receive the next transmission of pure bliss from the mind of steel.